it doesn't mean that you can't take a few months off. However, all of a sudden, taking a few months off, to me, just raises a little bit of an eyebrow. And again, your followers aren't entitled to your personal life. That's not what I'm saying. But I personally think that it's responsible. And if I was taking a few months off, I would give everyone, to ha- give everyone a heads up of I'm not going anywhere in terms of my business isn't ending. You can still book me in, but I actually need to just not be on Instagram for a few months. I need a break. I get that. And why can't your team post? Why can't you schedule posts for a whole month and then your team post for you? And I personally, at the moment, like posting things myself most of the time, except for obviously that weekend when I was getting engaged because the energy and it just feels good, blah, blah, blah. And I also want to share with you guys, and I'm going to do like a whole business update and everything for you that you'll, that you'll be able to listen to soon. I also know that I won't be able to when I'm a mum. I don't know what my pregnancy will look like. I might not be able to post. I might not be able to show up on Instagram when I'm pregnant, for example. That doesn't mean that I'm going to let my business crumble. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be MI like that. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to be on Instagram stories. I'm not going to be giving you guys information and content. Why? Because I'm committed to my business. I'm committed to my why. I'm committed to where I want this to go and to helping people. And I have been committed to that from day dot. What I question and why I want to bring this to your awareness is from a viewer's point of view, you have to be aware that they don't know what's going on in your personal life. So they are going to make an assumption. And if you are all of a sudden MIA, not showing up, not giving value, you know, kind of admitting that you need a break from work, why this raises an eyebrow for me is, okay, so does that mean that everything that you were saying for the last eight months was a lie that you weren't actually running your business from the feminine, from the feminine that you, does that make sense? That's what I want to help you guys hone in on today and ask yourself that is my business, is my career, is my health, is the way that I'm, you know, parenting, I'm not necessarily parenting, but running my household are all of those things sustainable are all of those things sustainable because you can yo-yo even in the way that you're running your house. Let's say one week, it's like, you know, it's, you're being anal as fuck with tidying. And then all of a sudden you burn yourself out from being a control freak. That's happened. That happens. And then your house is chaos. Is that good for your family? No. Is that fair? No. Is it fair on your body or maybe what you're sharing with the world for you to be on this restrictive diet? And then all of a sudden you're yo-yoing off the other end because you can't keep it up anymore. No, integrity is everything. And at the end of the day, people figure shit out because nothing is private anymore, at least for most of the time, right? So many things aren't private. And I have thought about before when I've seen you know, for example, I hired this coach a while ago and, um, this is like ages ago in the beginning of my business, I hired her for business stuff. And then maybe like two years later, she announced on Instagram that she hated being a business coach and blah, 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 and that she's selling all of her courses and the recordings of her masterminds and whatever for like 90% off. For some of you, you might not have the same perspective as me. That's totally fine. For me, I was like, what the fuck? It felt so gross because it was like, well, two years ago or a year ago, it was quite soon after you fully believed in this. And now all of a sudden you're like, nope, that's bullshit. That was my perspective. That was how I read. And a lot of other people that I spoke to read her Instagram marketing. That could have been bad job on her, you know, um, and it definitely could have been done a much better way. And this is why it's really important to just make sure that what you're doing feels a hundred percent right. And you a hundred percent back it and it's sustainable because there's nothing worse than someone kind of thinking you're a hypocrite. It doesn't, it doesn't show with integrity. It doesn't, it has a lack of integrity and especially with a business that is heavily online. I think integrity is something that's really important and it differentiates you from other people in the industry. It differentiates you from other people in the industry. That's really important because at the end of the day, people want to be working with someone that feels reliable. They want to be hiring a company or an agency that feels like they can trust them and that they're going to be there when they need them. Not just all of a sudden they're going to be MIA because they've burnt themselves out. 
That's their fault. That is a lack of due diligence on their end. But guess who suffers? The clients, the customers, the followers, the people that have bought from them in the past, they all suffer because it makes them think, wait, did they do a bad job when I was working with them because she was about to be, she was about to be burnt out or he was about to be burnt out or whatever it is. So this is a really important thing to think about. I know I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. Are you running your business in a sustainable way? I say this to all of my business coaching clients because so many women don't. They get so caught up. It's a, it's a feminine thing. Often they get so caught up in the excitement of the moment that they don't think about a year from now. They don't think about two years from now. And that is something that I, I guess, pride myself on, um, is that I'm always trying to think for you guys and for me and for my team, is this sustainable? Am I going to back this still in two years time? Am I doing this in a way that is full of integrity? Is this process, is this program X, Y, and Z sustainable? I have a capacity planner so I don't get burnt out. So I know how many clients I can be taking. And so I can be doing a very, very, very good job with every single one of them and not be, you know, exhausted by the end of the week so that my Thursday or Friday clients get the shit end of the stick. That would not be fair. That would not be an integrity, would it? Like you have a responsibility, especially if you are working with people to ensure that you are setting yourself up in a way that allows them to feel like they are getting the best version of you. So yeah, I have a capacity planner. I have an editorial calendar and these things I really have to implement as my life and my business got a lot busier. The more that we have in my business, the more that we have going on in the business, the more important it is that I have these systems and calendars and structures, not because I live my life through my calendar. I don't have like my shower and lunch and everything in my calendar. That would make me feel so stressed because white space is really important, but I need to have things like Ed Cat, like my Ed Cal. I need to have things like SOPs and, you know, we need to have processes in place and all that stuff because otherwise we're wasting time. It's more shit on your head. It's more last minute decisions and it drains you. And all of those things also increase the chance of you burning out. 